I'm Brett. Today we've got another video update on what to look for when you've got a failed turbo. And you may have remembered in our other video we were talking about the damage of a turbo like this. Actually, if I hold that, you can see it. Um, when a nut fell off and it was not located correctly off the previously faulty turbo, Klein put a second-hand turbo on. This is it and it's failed. Now what I want to show you is some of the subsequent damage you need to be very, very careful of. A lot of people don't take the time to look at it. So since our, other, our last video, we've had the inlet manifold off and back on again. And you can see in the engine bay here, the aluminium manifold is now spotlessly clean. We've changed the um, turbo intake pipe and the air box here. And then come over here and I'll show you the parts that we're still putting back together. But the important part is you've got to keep an open mind and look for the other things other than just replacing the turbo. And in this case, all of those broken parts off the aluminium compressor housing, which you can see there, um, have migrated through the compressor housing and in through the intake to the underside of the turbo, uh, underside of the intercooler, and then through the throttle body and into the inlet manifold. We've now cleaned the aluminium inlet manifold, but the intercooler acts like a ginormous sieve and stops parts going through, but some go through and some get stuck in the intercooler. And I just want to show you what you need to be aware of. And in the case of this client, um, so what he can see. So inside here, it's actually full of um, chemical to try and clean it. And you can see it's glistening. And we'll, we'll drain all that out in a sec. Um, I won't drain it under the bench, but that's, we're cleaning inside this pot. But just have a look down inside here, because it's very obvious because it's black. You see all that glistening stuff? It's like, digging for gold but in this situation we're actually digging for aluminium so what you can see there is all the little tiny aluminium particles off the compressor housing that didn't go through um, into the inlet manifold and are now stuck if i get my finger in there you can't really see it but you can see right down in there all of that rubbish at the bottom which is mixed in with petrol and degreaser and stuff to try and get it flushed out because the client doesn't have the budget to replace it in a cooler, um, is what we're trying to clean out. So when it all goes back together, the engine doesn't draw that all back in and damage the combustion chamber, the pistons, bearings, and ultimately gets down inside the, the operating system of the engine and into the oil galleries. So as a summing up of this car, oh, and we also just took the time, I showed you before, we changed the silicon pipe. This is the one that we've now replaced. And you can see how it's all damaged here. So typically that fits on there but you see how that's split so this car has been running with a hose clamp on it with an air leak there with the air goes in through the air, fly, air box air fly meter under the inlet motor fold into the turbo then can compress so what happens is the engine draws the air in and it leaks the air fly meter sensor doesn't know the air is going in gets all this extra air that it doesn't know about engine runs lean you melt a piston, do a big end bearing due to knock, all these other things. Hence the reason why we've now changed that part as well, why we had it all apart. So summary is, if you have a mechanical failure, work out what caused the mechanical failure before you fix it, but then also work out what other damage a mechanical failure may have done other than just replacing the damaged parts. So in this situation, on the previous video, we showed you the reason why we worked out the turbo failed. We then worked out what the turbo failure has done and what we need to do to fix it and mitigate those risks along the way. So if you're looking for more information, check out our other videos. Of course, um, share it, comment it, subscribe to this channel. We'd love to hear back from you. If you need custom tuning done, remember anywhere in Australia through our partner network, we can do custom tunes locally for you. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Check out our website for tuning side of work, mrttuned.com.au. Of course, you can check out our main website at mrtperformance.com.au or make a comment or um, contact us on Facebook. For today, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.